taking meds and You're doing over. fine. You're doing fine. <laughs> um but yeah. So I everyone else is inside. I'm at the end of the hall and I mean uh, the alley and then the fish thing, is it still there? Is it running after me? Uh fish thing is running away. Oh, cool. Um fuck you, fish guy. Then yeah, I'd just kinda like look around and be like Oh, good then. And I'll just walk back inside. Okay, you walk back I mean, back once inside. I get Janice inside, I'm like, what was that thing? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I, I just kind of walk in, and like, the you hear the jingle of the bells as the beads part. Mm-hmm. Um, h- hello? It, they're running away. Um, I think they were fairy. I think so, too. Um, I, I look at, I look Steve up and down to make sure that he's okay. And not, uh. Yeah, Steve's fine. He's like, looks around confused. What was, what was that thing? I've never seen anything Uh, like it. They, those don't typically. They typically eat like seafood. I thought um, they can possess people, though. I think. What the heck? I like. I like. Look at Cynthia. Like this is why you get tried for witchcraft. No. Um. <laughs> but I. I say, it, don't worry about it now, Steve. You're fine. Look. Um. As long as you're here, do you, do you wanna do you wanna use my shower? Steve is like, that'd be a good idea, Steve. Steve doesn't <laughs> seem to like this idea. It's like, um, maybe I could just sit down for a minute. He's like, I have already got a chair for him or whatever to sit yes, down on. Steve will sit down on the chair. He doesn't um, seem to want to take a shower. Kelsa, want- I think we might want to just close up shop and head up to your apartment. It might be safer. Uh, but threshold, more wards. Three. I nod. Um, and I oh, I also hand you your little bag of root you ordered. Or you sent me out for. Oh, the Don't water we put on to the pot is probably overflowing. By the way. Oh yeah. And I uh, hand you, I hand you your change, whatever it was. Whatever it was. I just put it in a pocket. So, Thomas, Um, you definitely heard him talking about fairies and shit. Okay. um, I wasn't sure if they were in a different room. They are, but, you you know, sound carries. Yeah, I I walked into the room you're laying in. I just walked past you. (laughs) Don't even look at you. What, What are you guys talking about, fairies? Nothing you need to concern yourself with, little demon. And there's demons now too? Who's the demon? I just kinda shake my head. The demonling doesn't know what he is yet. You should be careful. Yeah, I'm pro- I, since no one's paying it to- Cynthia, Yeah, I'd probably wouldn't... at this point stay away from Thomas and like stick near Janice since I assume she she knows more of what's going on than I do. Mm-hmm. But like, um, I'm like, Cynthia, please, his name is Thomas. And you're right. Let's, let's go upstairs. Um, take the, take the tea and this and this. And I start handing her like, like a, a bundle of herbs and stuff and like shoo her upstairs. Get them, get them situated in the living room. I'll, I'll close up shop. Okay. As you wish. Uh, Steve, would you like to help? I just kind of like... Oh, I, I just want someone else to help me carry a bunch of plant shit upstairs because uh, it's probably a lot of stuff. Steve is like, um... Okay. And cool. I'll help you bring stuff up, upstairs. Then yeah, that's what Cynthia's doing. I probably I like mean, strong arm Steve into staying for dinner at my house at least like once a month. Like, he won't let me do it more often than that. No. But, like, like, okay. Like, 
once a month, it's like, okay, no, you're, look, I've already made dinner. You're just, just come eat it. And then like, but like any more often than that. And he'll be like, no, I can't. But like, you know, at least once a month, I, I make him come have family dinner with me. Okay. Wait, what happens? Skype is driving me nuts. Oh, one of you turn on your... Webcams. Yeah, I turned my camera on. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. So yeah, Steve, is this one of those times where you're going to have Steve eat with you or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a empathy roll. Or a rapport roll. A what? Probably empathy. Rapport. Rapport. Empathy. empathy. I'm best at empathy. Great. Three. Uh, let's roll for Steve. You would not believe how many windows I have open right now. <laughs> the more I'm the merrier. I am a I am a window whore, so I have just <laughs> too many. I hate having too many windows open. I want less. I always want less. Uh, I, I I do too, but I'm like, but I'll want to look at this at some point, and I don't want to forget it. Um. Yeah, Steve will stay for dinner. Okay. You get the feeling like he was thinking about asking for something else, but he he so, he likes food. So I'll see if I can get him to admit that over over dinner or maybe privately on the side. So okay. are your kids here, by the way? Like, are they like, or are they at someone else's house or what? They might we're be like, at school. Yeah, it's it was the middle I mean, of the day. Like dinner because we're eating dinner. So I thought like, well, if it's dinner time. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Well, it could be lunch. It could be lunch. Okay, lunch. That works then. I was it's just making. I I was making sure there weren't kids around because that like it changes how people act and stuff, you know. Yeah, like I said, I, I figure they're at school. This is the middle of the day, and yep. I said dinner, but let's call it lunch. Yeah, totally. I figured that you would make him stay for dinner. Not that it was dinner time necessarily. Well, e- either way, either way, yeah. Right. But okay, it could be lunchtime. Um, so yeah, um, Cynthia helps cook as much as Kel- uh, sorry, not Kelsey, Janice, uh, lets her. Um, it's a thing she likes doing, actually. Uh, okay. It's a thing mm-hmm. she's kind of good at, or like to think she is. You guys can tell her if she is or not. I mean, um, if it's above instant ramen, Axel's happy. That's like <laughs> all he normally eats on his budget. I have a feeling that, like, in the household she grew up in, it was something she was forced to do a lot. And at, now that she's not forced to do it, it's she takes some f- kind of pride in it a little bit. So mm-hmm. That makes sense. I think probably the way that this, like, this is maybe something that has happened before. Um, like, Cynthia gets delegated to making the food food. While Janice starts to make a potion for uh, Thomas, okay, she's gathering the ingredients, brewing the things, and lighting the candles, and all that stuff. Man, what is cooking? Hmm. It's a good question. What is the cooking skill in this game? Um... <laughs> I mean, can we? Maybe it's discipline. <laughs> I mean, it could be. It's deceit. No. Deceit. <laughs> cooking is it's deceptively good cooking. Uh, performance, maybe. I think performance is a good call. That's the uh, art skill. Fuck you! No, I don't want to roll performance. <laughs> You're supposed to ask things that you want to roll, not things you don't want to roll. You can roll craftsmanship. I can do well. I'm not. I didn't cooking. know craftsmanship was a skill. I would have taken it. It is. I actually can see it. Yeah, it's a pretty good skill. I, I mean, really like well. Dis- does anybody have Christmas show? Does anybody have survival? That actually cooks. Say that again. Survival. I do actually. You can roll survival to cook. Well, that's something, I guess. I mean, it must be survival, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, performance survival. I mean, I don't know. I think it's really, really supposed survival. to be like foraging for food. I think it's supposed to be performance, but you can use survival. I get a five. All right, you um. You make some really good food, like 
I make like um you got crab legs. Like, I don't know. Tell me what you yeah. make. Um, it's probably like English like food. Okay. Like, um, like um steak and kidney pie and shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, meat pie. Nice. Yeah. So while she's like cooking that, can I like make my way up to? Hmm. Do I know how to get up to the roof yet? I mean, I live there, so you could ask. Uh, I'm asking, like, I'm trying to figure out if I'd already know how to get there, so I wouldn't have to ask. It's probably warded. Would you have gone to the, you have gone to the roof before? I don't, I don't so. like, unless you took me up there, I wouldn't have a reason to be. No, because I live there, and I doubt anyone's going to invite you into my house. So, but okay, because well, it's warded and shit. So. She has a garden there, too, yeah. so she has to go up there. Yeah. Garden True. Up there? True. But I don't think there would be a reason for me to have taken you up to that garden, and there certainly would not have been a reason for Cynthia to take you up there. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, I mean, so, like, I'm looking out the windows then to, like, see if I can see any more little fishmen. Okay, um, which windows do you want to look out? Do you want to look out the windows by the street or by the back? Um... If you look in the alley, all you see is a brick wall. Like, uh, down the street, or I guess, like, where they, like, came from, like, that area. Right, give me an investigation check. Okay. Two. Yeah, you don't see them, but you do notice that the manhole cover is still open. Okay. Um, so I mean, like, uh, hmm. So they came up through a manhole. I, I, I can, like, point that, that out to... Through a manhole cover? What? Are you going to tell me that they came up through a manhole cover? Because I don't know Yeah, that's what I'm like. I, I'm thinking about that, like, now. Like, I'd probably, like, point out to you, like, Janice, Janice, they, they came out of that manhole cover out there. If we go, like, look in it, we might figure out more about where they came from. So while you're watching, a car comes by, and it goes into the manhole, and it crashes. It drives over and crashes? Yeah, it drives like, into the manhole, you know, into the hole in the ground. And there's oh, no yeah, we didn't fix it. it, didn't we? <laughs> and it just crashes, and now it's, like, smoke coming out and everything. <sighs> All right, I was, like, I'm... jump in the middle of making food, like, at the sound of a crash. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's probably, like, not a horrendous not... crash. It's like a fender bender kind of thing, I imagine. It's like it, they've ruined their, their axle, but everybody's fine. Yeah. Like, they're going to call the tow truck and city and everything. Gotcha. That's about right. Everything all right. Do they need a hand? And I'm like, I'm like, got a mortar and pestle and like grinding up some stuff. And I'm like, do they yeah. need a hand? I mean, like, I like begrudgingly say, I'll go look in, I'll go see if they need help. Because you're both busy. Like gutting a pig. Just, yeah. I like how we, this is like all of a sudden a butcher shop. <laughs> like a pig is just lying around. Yes. Yes. No. I know. Okay, I mean, true. like, while they're doing the stuff in the house, I'll, like, make my way outside. It's like, see if things. Sure. First, I look outside. outside. Like, if I don't. I look on both ways of the street. If I see a fish, I might change my mind. Um, you don't see a fish. Okay. Then I, like, go over to the car. Like, can I see down the manhole before I help them? Give me an investigation. Or is it their check. car is covering the. Their car's covering the It's manhole. like the wheel is in the manhole, but you can, like, look around it. Okay, so investigation, you said? Yeah. Yep. That's also a thing I'm good at. Three. Yeah, it's completely dark, but you can hear rushing water. Okay, so I, like, ask the people, like, do you need anything? And I'm praying, like, no, we're good. Please, please don't actually take me up on my offer, please. So exactly. what happens is you go over to them and they're on their cell phones calling for help. And I'm going to compel your your major aspect, the one that says you're a okay. magic user, and their cell phone will fritz out if you accept the compel. I, I will accept that. Okay, they're like, they, they see you coming over and they're like suddenly shaking their phone like they get no signal. Like, well, our phones aren't working. Can we use your phone? Do I have a phone? I'm guessing no. 
It's probably a phone okay. in the fucking like uh, shop that you could let them use, maybe. Yeah, there's totally a floor uh, shop or like a phone in the actual shop area. Like yeah, an old should... like pay phone that's been like built into the wall. Like, yeah, my friend has a phone in the shop. I don't have a cell phone on me. I don't actually own a cell phone. Okay, um, that'll work. I, I like. Guess. I point to the shop I'm like referring to. They like. They point to it too, and they look like. Yeah, that one. Okay, and then they just go to the shop, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like I let them in, and like I watch them use the phone. I don't leave them unattended. Okay. Yeah, they call the um, the city. Like they call their insurance company, and they call the police, and then they call uh, city hall. Complaining Complain. about the uh, yeah. the manhole cover. maintenance needs to get down here and get the manhole back covered. Yeah, and they call so, a lawyer. I have a question about mm-hmm. this whole thing, and I I guess I can wait until after I'm finished like brewing my potion or whatever. But I know a little bit about fairy creatures, mm-hmm. and I know mm-hmm. a little bit about manhole covers. And <laughs> why do you know that- a little bit about manhole covers? reasons uh but basically from my understanding a manhole cover is going to be uh something a fairy would not uh, a fake creature would not be able to touch mm-hmm. let alone uh, yeah. move yeah. um magic is that, is that accurate depends what the uh, manhole cover is made of it's hard because I, I play so many games where fairies run by different loot rules. I mean, I mean they, they might be, not touch it could it be directly, like but they mind. might like. But um, if it's an older manhole cover, it might all it might be like um a mixture of like iron and copper. I think it might even be an aluminum one. I'm just gonna say it's an aluminum one. No, oh, it's an, okay. I guess that would be my, my 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 question is just like how how likely do I think that this is going to be like an aluminum manhole cover or an iron one, yeah. and therefore how suspect am I am that they were able to do this themselves? Let me Google this for the setting. What is cold iron? Comes to measure allegiance. Pretty much any iron or steel will make them unhappy. I mean, I know aluminum doesn't count because if you remember in Dresden Files, they actually threw aluminum nails at what's her name and Wounds it actually do it. on fairies, but iron weapons are slow to heal. But fairies can use iron weapons. So they, they don't have a problem like literally touching it if they have to. But mm-hmm. they don't like. It. They don't like. It's an irritant, if nothing else, until they're like. It's, it's like it. it's like it'd be like twice as heavy to them. Let's say. Like okay, it probably it, it's probably why it took several of them to get the manhole cover off. Okay. So yeah. at some point, I bring you all food, and it's fucking great, and there's a bunch of it. After these people call, do they like stick around in the shop or they like leave? They stick around the shop once you kick them out. They're waiting for the I mean, tow truck to get there, and you know, um, sometimes they are like there's lots of weird things to look at inside the shop, and it feels really yeah. homey, right? And comfortable. It does, for sure. Yeah. So unless someone kicks them out, they're gonna stay there. At least until... I don't kind of want to, but it's her shop, and I don't want to like get rid of customers that might buy something. So I'm like, <laughs> do you try yeah, and I sell them something? They're... No, I definitely do not actively try to sell them something. That's like too much effort. Okay. Letting them stay in the shop and like browse is like the extent of my willingness to help. All right. Uh, sometime, or. Er... Sometime around now, I'd probably go down and get my backpack that I'd left outside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, she had to, like, put it behind the counter or something. I He put it out. He put it outside before you went in, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so We've never seen it. 
What's your alertness score, Talos? It's um average one. Okay. Okay. God, that roll. So you bring your bag into the upstairs. Passing all these fucking tourists. Yeah. You might not even notice the tourists. <laughs> Do the tourists not notice him? I mean, he's just a kid. I think oh, they notice true. him. Yeah. Oh, if I pass Axel, I might want to bring up the uh, car park and be like, hey, I um, I kind of recognize that car park. I, I can explain it to you sometime when we have time. But, uh, can I, like, uh, reluctantly agree, like, do you, like, recognize me when you meet us? When you meet again? Like, do you uh, remember I- that you saw him before you passed out? <laughs> No, I meant, like, you, like, recognized me from when I, like, mugged you, like, a while, a long oh, time ago. I don't remember yeah. what it was. I forgot. Um, no, I don't think he remembers that at all. Well, not, okay. n- not, not remembers that at all, but doesn't remember the details. He, he remembers he got mugged, he just doesn't remember who did it specifically. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, like, after a while, I noticed that you don't, like, recognize me specifically, so, I mean, like, I, like, I'm no longer as nervous around you now that I know you don't know who I am. <laughs> so yeah, it's like yeah, I like I, I am. I'd be happy for you to explain to me what this flux capacitor thing is. When you guys walk in, there's a bunch of food. Okay, so like it smells delicious. Like mm. when di- when food's done, I like take these people out so I can go eat. <laughs> just chill, chill. Give me a report. Yeah, basically, like, like roll report. I have other pressing. Roll what? Report. Report. Oh, I don't have any of that. I don't think. I'm gonna check. Call someone down to help you that actually owns the store. <laughs> I got a one. Right. Other people are actually busy doing important things. I got a one. All right, you successfully kicked them out without making too much of a scene. Okay, I'm not. You realize really that okay. all the smell of the cooking has made them hungry. So you you, you got them lunch. out without having to offer them food. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I mean, so I I lock up or whatever and go upstairs to eat. Sure. And I told them the I told like Janice like yeah they're okay they called a show truck or whatever they should be fine. Okay. Uh, Janice, it doesn't take that long to brew a potion, so why don't you give me a lore check? That'll be a okay. plus three to succeed. Do I get any bonuses from um, preparation or anything? Mm-hmm. I mean, she didn't have to go me get a special ingredient. Yeah, let me. So I'll say that I'll give you a plus two. And then. Do you have... You don't have any magical items. Um, um, not specifically. I have... Uh, as as a, pre- as a ritual of potion brewing, I can have up to two potions already brewed that I declare, like, that I have on me when I need them, basically. Well, you have to do it to start the session. Right. Well... After that, you said it's a lore roll. I can either have, yeah, I can either declare two specific potions I have on me at the start of the session, or I can make a lore roll to have already had the right one brewed up. Right. I'll give you a plus four in this case. Because plus plus two for the ingredients and plus two for the time you actually role played it out. Brewing it out. Brewing it up. So it's lore plus four. Nine. (laughs) Blau. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wow. made your potion. Um, yeah, you know, that's so many successes, I guess. It's a potion. It does what you want. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Makes Thomas feel better on the inside. I said you need a, a three to succeed, so that succeeds by six. Yeah. Oh god, I just had a cool idea. Um, so like, if uh, Cynthia was like cooking over a fire, she could manipulate like, time magic to slow roast things faster. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that's right. What she did, like, do you imagine how much time it would have taken to actually make that food, like, from scratch to start? So she was like, time magic, time magic, time magic. So well, like, here we go. You can add difficulty to do things faster, or add successes to do things slower. So usually, like, if you fail it by one, I'll just say it takes you longer. But, um, man, if you succeed by six, you, you actually gain a great insight. So I'm going to say that you realize for sure that uh, Thomas was fed on by a vampire. Mm. And you're also going to take take one forward for the rest of the session. You can just add plus one to whatever roll you want. To any um, role I want. Or you can forward. put a um, you can put a maneuver on Thomas if you want. Hmm. Oh god, she definitely makes like a snide comment towards Thomas when like placing the food, though. <laughs> well, go ahead and do it. Um, well, it, it's something like I, I, I um, I know I have nothing here you would want. <laughs> Okay. Essentially, <laughs> just something like that, like just like offhand. She says that to Thomas or whatever. Yeah. Oh, what? Uh, Thomas just goes. Oh, what are you cooking? Never so, mind. can I? Uh, can, so basically, you're saying I could give him like a temporary aspect for the rest of the session or something, right? Uh, I want to give him off. something like, like open to friendship or something basically give give him a so when Cynthia is making snide comments instead of taking them personally just take that as yay human interaction like okay. just more more willing to look uh, on the bright side be friendlier yeah yeah look on the bright side that's a, that's a good one Basically, uh, like, I feel like he's got, like, a bunch of emotional barriers, and rightly so, but, like, he, he's in a safe space here, and want to help him to be able to connect with, with us here. Like, I trust Cynthia, mostly, despite her, her problems. He's not going to try to kill sure. her or anything. And sure. uh, and and also, you know, Axel is a is a pretty solid guy. At least I think so. <laughs> <laughs> For what you know, there's nothing wrong. Well, I know he's a solid guy. He's just a and nice, like, quirky German guy. I mean, there's like, yeah, yeah none, none of them have ever English lessons. Wrong. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I guess you give it to Thomas. So, what's it smell like? Um, also, smells... I kind of want to know the ingredients if you know them offhand. If you don't, it's okay. But I always like knowing them. Um, it smells a little bit minty and a little bit earthy. Mm. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if Cynthia would know this, but like the mint is just for flavor; it doesn't actually do anything. But there's um, the the She's earthy flavor comes from the uh, Himika. And uh, it's got um, a few other few other herbs uh, in there, like some particular salt from a it's like pink Himalayan salt or something, but it's like specially blessed. There's like there's like this big like salt that is is like blessed salt, and then like this other salt that is like regular salt. And it's like, don't touch the blessed salt. We had this conversation before, you know. Don't um, touch the blessed salt. Yeah, don't, don't touch the blessed salt. It's like, don't touch my bottle of holy water. <laughs> or don't rip pages <laughs> out of her books. Don't make a salad out of, body, out of the holy salad dressing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Exactly. Olive oil. The holy olive oil. That's it. Oh, the holy olive oil. Right. Um, so yeah, it smells kind of minty, but also pretty earthy. And I wouldn't it say, water, so, you know, I wouldn't say sure. that it tastes, um, good, but I also wouldn't say that it tastes gross. It tastes like. The texture is probably interesting. I would say. Yeah, yeah, it definitely has an interesting texture. Like, kind of like miso soup, I would say the texture is like. A little bit cloudy and almost grainy, but not quite. Yeah. It's like that. Okay. So it tastes really good, Thomas. <laughs> okay. Um, so... I guess you I drink it? Up, yeah, I, I drink it down. I don't really know what what it is, but I'm just like, okay, it's a drink. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, you feel a lot better. Uh, you're going to keep that consequence for another two sessions, because that's how it works. And I'm also going to compel you, I'm going to offer you a fate point to, um, all these guys are now your friends. Like, they're your bestest friends. Does that sound good? <laughs> Just all of us. Including, of like, Steve and me. Yeah, Steve and is your friend. Janice's kids are your friends when they show Those up. Those fish people, they're your friends. <laughs> they're not your friends. <laughs> they didn't seem very friendly. <laughs> okay. And so I keep the so I do keep the aspect drained or I don't so or you keep it. You keep it. No, you keep it. You replace it with look on the bright side. No, you you keep okay. the aspect and so it's keep it. Yeah. Uh Consequences are very major in the game, so if oh, you actually oh, take oh. damage, it's it takes a long time to heal. I see. Okay, so what do I do with look on the bright side then? You don't actually get look on the bright side. Never mind. Okay. All right, it's yeah. on you as, as a maneuver aspect, but there's no place in your character sheet for it. You kind of just have to remember it. Mm, I see. Okay. It's like getting soaked or anything, or like it's like a condition. Right. It's even like because she got so many above what she needed, it's going to last the entire session. But yeah, like getting hey. soaked, you eventually would dry out. So yeah. Um, so I mean, like, is like after I get rid of the people, and if dinner's not ready yet, I'm just kind of like meander around the apartment and see what there is to find. I'm not going to go into bedrooms, by the time but... you get there. D- okay. Dinner was right. Time manipulation. <laughs> yeah, l- lunch is a lot sooner than you thought it would be, and it's like <laughs> slow. Hey, I was okay with it. I got to re- get rid of these customers. It's all very yeah. subtle, and like she's trying not to. But yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Hey, I don't really understand how cooking works. It's not instant, <laughs> so I'm happy. <laughs> um. So I guess so we, we all like have a pleasant lunch. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just gonna say, I actually have a good performance, so I was wondering if I could, like, um, not criticize the meal, but more just, like, be like, oh, like, try and give Cynthia constructive criticism or whatever. Yeah, art appreciation. She's <laughs> gonna be a dick with a really good meal. God no, damn man. It. Art appreciation <laughs> is part of performance. It's completely legit. <laughs> Go ahead and roll it. You'll get a plus four. I, mean, I rolled a, I rolled a five, so I did well. So you get a plus four because you have the aspect that all your friends, and also the meal was just that good. Wait, why does having that aspect give them a plus four? I just say it does. Oh, I see there. Because it's coming from a friendly place. It's not like I'm doing it to be mean. It's because I'm doing it because I'm just like, oh, I can help with this. Almost and- like a backhanded compliment. So as yeah. so like whenever the GM is like supposed to determine the difficulty of a role, they're supposed to take into account the uh, the relevant aspects in that case. So I'm right now there, this is a relevant aspect, so I'm giving a plus two for it. So go ahead and uh, give me a performance at plus four. Okay, so I just click the um thing that would be for the little great. plus button. Yeah, whatever's next to your performance. 
Okay. It's kind well, of my three. performance is plus three. Yep. So, so go ahead and do yeah. that, and then it should tell you uh, add a modifier, and the modifier is plus four. Oh, I see. You get an additional on top of whatever it normally is. Yep. Wait, the bonus is four, or the bonus? Yes. Is the bonus okay. is four. I wasn't sure if the bonus was four. Or if bonus was one. I'm sorry, Tony. Yeah. It's okay. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little tired and moody. It's okay. I'm not actually mad at you. All right. So That's yeah, nice and you like. You can definitely like give all the best criticism. She doesn't listen. Maybe to you. maybe you're telling her about like more modern uses for the same that herbs. That you would be like, appreciative of. It's like it's so good. Yeah. Like it reminds me of like this dish and that dish. Yeah. Look look at how good that roll is. I think he can totally do this with some aplomb. Like yeah. yes. If you yeah. put it in more like, oh, this is really good, it reminds you of this like more modern thing. Like if you're trying to like tell her about things that like she hasn't experienced, then she'll listen. If you're just like tearing apart what she's done, then she's gonna just ignore you. So it wasn't like it wasn't ever intended to be like tearing apart. And no, it just it was like, like that. It it isn't meant like what you meant it to be. It's however you worded it and however she took it. So if you were just like talking about, oh, you could have done this better, that's how she would have taken that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, no, I, I I like the idea of just comparing it to modern foods and stuff. I like that. All, yeah. Because I it's all like, very, like, old, like, English food, so. Yeah. Like, yeah, I like that. Oh, this reminds me of blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Yep, yep. So she's completely okay with this. All right, so you guys have a nice lunch. About when you're done and washing up the dishes, you can feel another shutter go through the house. I go look at the manhole out the window. Uh, the car has been towed away, and the manhole cover is back on. Okay, so what, do we know why it's shuttered? Something yeah, is I'd damaging like... the wards around the house. Can I try to figure out why the wards are acting up? Uh, yeah, give me a lore. I'll give you a plus one, because you already probed so low earlier. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, magical in nature? Nah. That's lore. N is this is this lore role magical in nature? If it is, I get another plus one. From... Oh, God, it's some sorcerer thing I have. You're I talking can't... about from oh, it's the, the site. site. It's the site, I remember now. The site gives me a plus one, just because I have the magical senses necessarily not like just it i can pull it up um if you I'm look not up sure the you're stuff. reading that correctly but i'll worry about that later yeah you can have your plus no one i I, I remember it explicitly no you're right there's a plus one there but i'm not sure in it's, it actually applies in all circumstances that's okay you can use uh, it now go ahead and it's plus two total okay <sighs> i'll plus find your it skill. what we're doing six. Oh yeah so you didn't go out, and did you go out by the car and look down the manhole cover? Yeah, if, like, yeah, I'll look around, because this is, like, so, I'm com yeah. concerned. So, like, you hear rushing water when you go outside and look around, and you realize that the water must be going underneath the house, and the flowing water is disrupting all the magic above it. That's uh, not... Why did it not... Okay, so... Why didn't I do it before? Can I, what do you mean? Can I read this very quickly? Um, wait, say you say it again. Actually, you then I'll say it. You, what what were you saying? Uh, I, I mean, I told you. Wait, no, you I was asking Wes what he oh, said. Okay. Oh, okay. it's just like why? Why did the wards not like have a problems like a couple weeks ago or a month ago? But now, like, is the rushing water new? Uh, similarly. Okay. It's probably moving faster, I assume. Um, okay, so it's just like the fact that we're so close to like the sewer line and stuff. Is that correct? Uh, there's something has changed underground. Okay. Mm. Um, I'll take a note of that. And here's arcane senses, by the way. Um, even with your third eye closed, you have a heightened arcane sense. You may use lore as if it were an arcane investigation skill as well as an arcane alertness skill. You also gain plus one to lore when using it in this fashion. Similarly, I have a finely tuned third eye, 
which says, um, your sixth sense can perceive in the presence of a supernatural ick factor that uh, is unusually sensitive for a pure mortal. Gain plus two to your lore whenever using it as an alertness substitute to pick on the up the presence of the supernatural. So when yeah. I do a floor for determining supernatural, I get plus two to that. Okay. So alertness is always passive, and investigation is always active. Mm-hmm. So okay. if I were to ask for a alertness check, that's like asking for a perception check in D&D. But if you say, yeah. I want to see something, then that's always an investigation. Good thing okay. it's more alertness. It's weird because you don't roll lore. Um, you can use lore in place of one of those skills, but only yeah. for magical stuff. Well, yeah, that's okay. kind of the point, I think. Yeah. Um, which kind of says something funny about Cynthia because her alertness is great and her investigation is only okay. So she's very good at just picking up things like on right. instinct, but not great at actually looking. Stuff. And how's her lore? Uh, her lore is in the middle. Her lore is three, um, and gets a plus one to magic stuff. Her alertness is four, and then her investigation is fair. Right. So I would say that it gives plus one to lore, right? Yeah. And yeah, so if I ask for alertness, in... then you wouldn't add it in that case. No, I would not. Unless okay. it involves a magical thing, because right. then I can use it in replace if I want to. But then it's the same role, because I have it on the same... I, it's plus four regardless, so right. it doesn't matter. Um, well, anyways, yeah, I just kind of, okay. I make a mental note of that, and I right. go back upstairs to tell them. Sure. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, do you guys want to say anything while I'm gone, or do I just come back? I mean, like, I'd look out, like, all the other windows, like, see if there's anything else going on, but... I uh, know everything seems to have calmed down, I said. Okay. I think during this, like, you you know, Cynthia goes to look downstairs, and you're looking out the window, and uh, I'm not sure what, what else um, the PCs are doing, but I think this is a, a moment where I can, like, kind of take Steve to the side and be like, hey, what's what's going on? It seems like something's changed out there. Whatever, whatever was coming at you, that's new. Can you can you tell me what's going on on the street? Uh, give me a. Ah, I keep hearing these weird Skype sounds. Yeah, it's like a blong. Oh, that's sorry, it's me. It's because I'm not plugged in my headphones, and I've got other Skype windows open. Oh, okay. That's so weird. Okay. Um. Yeah, give me a contacts roll. Kelsa? I'm doing it. Okay. I wasn't sure if you heard me. Yep, I heard you. Um, So you just fed this guy, and he's positively disposed to you already. Steve is like, like, I don't know exactly why, but a lot of fairy creatures have been crawling around town trying to, like, make homes in the little nooks and crannies. You don't really know why. Do you see them other places? Yeah, usually around, like, the water mains or around the rivers or ponds in the park. Hmm. Sometimes out at sea by the docks. Like, there just seems to be a lot more than there used to be. I nod. Well. Is that what's making, like, I over here is like, is, this, is that what's making your house shake? Uh, I think that's part of it. Steve just shrugs. Steve says, I don't know anything about how magic works. I just. We've been hearing about these fairy things. Like, none of us know what to make of it. Mm hmm. It's making it hard to live outdoors, though. Have you seen these fairy things before? Attacking people or homeless people? Like, different kinds of fairy things. Like, I've seen little sprites, like, little bees. 
and I've seen hmm. like there's mermaids out on the shore now and there didn't used to be. Very strange. It is strange. Especially that they're letting themselves be seen. Yeah, they're not even they're not hiding like they would normally hide. It's also like they don't care. No? What's the thing called? Um, Is it Steve forgetting a word, or are you forgetting a word? It's me forgetting the word. What's the veil called in the Ghost in the Files? I can't remember. The Never Never? No. Oh, what the, is the, um, veil? the thing where the supernatural creatures pretend they don't exist, so it's not to upset humans. They're pretending oh. like they don't care about that anymore. Mm. Not even pretending. They're, act, they're just not acting in a way that would hide their presence. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty strange. That's definitely unusual. Like, you would think that the fairy courts would stop them. You'd so, think um, that. Around this point, I feel like I would kind of like walk in and be like some the flow of the sewers has changed to the point where it's the rushing waters interfering with the wards of the house um mm. i'm not sure something's changed down there though that's not good at all all right we may have to go investigate yeah, that is something you, you kind of need wards in your house while you sleep. Especially since this is an apartment. Threshold isn't great. Well, it's not really an apartment. It's it's, it's, it's a house on top of a shop. It's it, it's both yeah. a shop. It's both public property, like pub, like not public, but it's both um yeah. like a shop and an apartment or like and a house. So regardless, the threshold wouldn't be great. It's mm. true. It's, I'm gonna say it's a rating two or three threshold because yeah, it is her family. Like she has a family. The there. Oh, oh no, she does have a family. I'm just saying, like the fact that there's a shop underneath yeah. it probably doesn't help. That's oh, just it, why it definitely. That's why it's only two or three and not like four or five. Yeah, yeah. it's it's a decent. It's not going to disappear from this. Like the rushing water isn't going to hurt the threshold because the threshold is natural. Oh no, but I'm not talking about the it's threshold. It's upsetting the wards and destroying the wards that yeah, attach to the that's threshold. What I was just. And after it's done eating away the threshold, it's going to be hard to practice ma- magic inside the house. Mm. Do you have a light source we can go use? So to look how, close the the, how close is the water to, like... Because I assume it's not just pure water, it's sewage, so I wouldn't think it would interfere as much. Well, do I wouldn't you, think you have to go down there and look? And see what's yeah, going I on? Mean, do you have, like, yeah, sea plans true. with all the water mains and sewer lines down there? Um... You, do we have, like, a candle or some light source we can use to go look? Well, I also, mean, I've got some flashlights. I have a quick question, just, like, out of, like, this game very quickly. Um, if any of you have the answer, it'll just help me, like, arrange this in my head. How the fuck did they do magic on boats? Very carefully. Not so, well. boats, the water yeah. doesn't move on anything. The water is still. So okay. as long as you're not in the water, you can kind of manage it. Like you get a as long nice as you're one not on the water and the water's not moving heavily. As long as the water's not touching to... you. Yeah. Cool. But if you're um, in a river or something, a boat on a river, forget it. Okay, so it, like if we're I'm up on the roof, magic would be easier. Like the, my wards wouldn't be as messed up. Yeah, you'd be farther higher. away from the water. Okay. Unless it's got to um, eat through Kelsa's wards before it gets up there. Then I, I would I would be telling her that and be like yeah. um. It's mm-hmm. the closer the wards are to the water lines, the more the water's gonna mess with them. Higher up we should be fine. Um if you want to investigate it more tomorrow, or we can go now, it's still early. Um I don't know when your kids are coming home though. So we probably wanna look into it before her kids get home from school. They probably get home at like three in the afternoon or something. Yeah, they'll probably be home when you're down there if you go down now. But well, that's okay. There's other person that can watch over them, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, do you, do you trust Thomas with your kids? Or Steve? 
I mean, you know what? I, I trust Eileen. Eileen. Oh yeah, I forgot. Where's she been Does, this entire time? I mean, I do. You, do you like ever introduce Eileen to me? Well, probably. I mean, like, is she? I, I guess that. I mean, she could be there, or she could be. Maybe she was going out to get the kids. Yeah, she could pick them up at school. Like maybe okay. she's so is like Eileen school. always out when I'm around? So like, there's never really an opportunity for us to be introduced. Uh, maybe you, yeah, maybe you haven't met her yet. Maybe like okay. she's like you know she exists, but I don't think you've ever met her. Okay. So did we decide that so she's far like as a I physical know, I think construct? She's a real did uh, real, did we decide that she can actually interact with like other people and stuff, or she's just like a figment of your family, like their collective imagination? Well, did we decide? I suggested that only her family and Cynthia could see her. Okay. Yeah. So far okay. as I know, I think she's still a real person. I just haven't met yet. Right. So, okay. um, picking them up is probably walking them home from school, not driving them or anything. Right. She's definitely right, walking right. them home from school or taking the bus with them home from school. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to clarify the continuity real quick. That's mm-hmm. all. Um, so, yeah. Um, like, Cynthia might not even realize she's not a real person. No, Cynthia yeah, does. Her. Cynthia had a memory, had a vision. Oh, that's of true. Memory. You had a vision of it. You were the and I cause to convince of, the, her that she of wasn't Janice real. realizing she not everybody could see her. Which I don't know how like we've come to terms with that. Like whether you've been like it doesn't matter if she's real or not. I she I see her. My kids see her. I think that's that something matters. to play out. This probably was pretty recent. Yeah, that's why I'm okay. like I don't know. Yeah. So it's just very much um, at the mention of her. Like we're probably talking about what you want to do with your kids and stuff. Uh, He's Cynthia like, probably mentioned did. this lady before, so I like I mentioned her name. Like she can get your kids right, and we can go look into this. Cynthia probably winces a little bit. Like, yeah, I'm sure Eileen. Well, Eileen was going to pick them up anyway. But she wouldn't mind watching them a little longer. Does we that, have plenty does. of time to go look into this manhole thing. Okay. Does that seem safe? She 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 does she like idea. says that like it's not I'm, the like it's not the word she was looking for but she didn't think of. I'm sure what? Aline's a great person. <sighs> you haven't. <laughs> she's she's trying to find words to explain this, and she. Uh, Who's Aline? Okay. Um. I'm gonna do a thing. So I feel like with this, like the mentioning of her is actually like starting to like stress Cynthia out a bit. Um, to the mm-hmm. point where, like, she she keeps trying to talk and, like, nothing's coming out to the point where, like, her eyes start fluttering and, like, she's shaking a bit and then she starts, like, convulsing on the floor. Okay. Like, it just, like, hits her as she's trying to talk and, like, she gets a vision. Um, now this could go in two ways. This can either have to do with, like, uh, Ad- Ad- Adeline or it can start having to do with, like, the, uh, underground stuff or a bit of both. Um, do you want me you to want- tell you or do you want to tell me? I was thinking we could go, uh, you guys pick whichever one you want to explore, and then I would tell what the thing is. Sure. Um, so would, do you want this vision to be about uh, Adeline, or do you want it to be about like the sewer stuff? Uh, I kind of like the idea of it being about Eileen. Uh, what about you guys, the rest of you people? I mean... Um, mm-hmm. I'm good either way. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Either one, okay. I'm either one. I'm going to be kind of confused about what you're telling me and skeptical. <laughs> oh yeah, no, totally. That's um, highly appropriate. So, is this about Adeline, then? I think it's I'm going to go a bit of both. Adeline. Actually, cool. So, um, essentially, in in the vision, we like do um, like the like this. If this was a show, this would be the special effects That's- budget. We like zoom in into like uh uh Cynthia's like eyes like they're fluttering mm-hmm. open and closed and they're like cl- clouding over um and like she's like convulsing on the floor and um as we it, like darkens and then as we enter again it's um it's the sewers and there's definitely like um they they're essentially like I can't. I'm trying to think of whether they're are they in the physical world or are they in like a bit in between the fairies it's right now? The fairies? Yeah. 
Some of them are in the physical world, and some of them are not. Okay, then. Cool. That that actually works out. So we see um, probably several like prominent fairy figures, like like their outlines, um, like talking amongst themselves, and like um, you know those scenes for like sewers where they're like um, they all go out in different directions, like 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 the center like sewer complex, and then the water flows in all like different directions around. Yeah. Um, we see something like that, and it keeps like tra- like fading in and out from it being a sewer, and then like a courtroom, then a sewer and a courtroom type of thing. Um, and uh, Adelina's, uh, or what's her name? Is it Adelina or it's Aline? I keep, like, Aline. It's Aline. I keep wanting to make her name. Aline. 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 It's like the Aline. AI is I, right? Eileen. Thank you, Eileen. Yes. I- yeah. um, Eileen. So. The the fairies are talking. Some of them are blurrier than others, and um, they're arguing about um, probably the like other fairies. Um, a lot of it's kind of jarbled, and then um, and then we keep seeing uh, Eileen like kind of float in and out of vision, um, just like watching and like taking notes. On a fairies, then, yeah. Okay. Um, and she's probably like holding the kids' hands, like they're like like uh, from like youngest to like bi- she's holding the oldest hand, and then they're holding the smallest um, while she's doing this. Where is she and watching the fairies? She's probably like sitting at. Um, whenever it's in the sewers, she's standing near a wall, and whenever it's the courtroom, she's standing. Uh, she's probably sitting where like the um, uh, what's they called the people that type up the the court thing. I can't remember what yeah, it's called. Order? Yeah. Um, typography i can't remember wherever they're like whoever's typing up whatever like the court's doing or whatever they say she's sitting where they're sitting um whenever it's the courtroom the court reporter yeah um and then it keeps like uh switching between those two and then it kind of fades out okay 